Okay, so today I recently saw a article posting online on Huffington Post about people bashing Solange's hairdo, saying it was ugly, she needs to comb her hair, saying all these nasty, mean things on a woman's very special day. Um, there also were video posting, sorry, comments on some photos of Blue and Beyonce bashing Blue for her hair, saying things like she needs, her hair needs to be combed, how does Beyonce walk on the street with her hair all laid, but Blue's is like that, etc. Child bashing when the poor girl cannot even do her own hair. At the age of two, I believe she is. Anyways, my point of this video is to talk about all the haters out there who find it necessary to discuss natural hair and the beauty of natural hair. Um, or, I guess, the ugliness of our natural hair and how it grows and how we need to tame it. Um, shut up. <laughs> Your opinions are not needed. If you have nothing positive to say, then keep it to yourself. I understand that, yeah, you're allowed to be opinionated, to have your own opinion, but honestly, no one needs it if it's gonna be negative. You cannot uh, abuse a child or talk about how a child is looking ugly because of how the hair grows out of her hair. You are an adult. What the heck are you thinking? This is natural beauty for you. This, I'm sorry that our hair grows and reaches to the sky. I'm sorry that we have kinky, possibly very likely nappy hair. I'm sorry our hair is not as laid or possibly as nicely curled as your hair, but get it together. You have to be mindful of the people that you're influencing with your nasty comments. There are a lot of kids growing up with their natural hair, okay? There are a lot of kids who are going to be looking at themselves and hating themselves, self-hate, because of the comments that you make on pictures. As a black person, you should not be commenting or even thinking negatively about natural hair, boo. Your hair did not grow out of your hair like the weed that you're wearing on your head. Okay? Let's be real. As a white person, really? Really? Do you want me to talk about you? Do you want me to talk about the nastiness that y'all do? Let me stop there. Honestly, I think y'all should check out this post um, and comment and let me know kind of what you think about these ill-minded people or these ill comments about Blue Ivy's natural hair or Solange's beautiful afro that she repped and rocked very well for her beautiful wedding day. Um, yes, I love her photos. It's very unconventional, but it was definitely something different. Something to make me think like, yo, this girl's a bomb diggity. She That put Solange on the map for me, to be honest. But back to the point of my video. I feel like as people, we need to stop oppressing each other as black people, as white people, as people in general. Y'all need to accept who you are. Um, I know people are not used to their natural hair or may not feel as confident. I get it. I completely get it. But guess what? Your natural hair is beautiful. No matter what anyone says, and I feel people need to stop this because there are children that are growing up in this society that are thinking they are ugly because they don't have nice hair. I had a five-year-old cousin of mine tell me that she thinks her hair is ugly after I fully commented and told her her hair is beautiful. And I wasn't even saying that just to say it because I actually love the hairstyle that her hair was in. Like, it confuses me at how crazy and like close-minded people could be like because we don't have laid hair like your European ways or because we don't look the same way you do you really have to call us ugly because of the way our hair is who says our hair defines us why does everyone have to be so judgmental bro I've been there especially when I was younger I could judge the heck out of you and if you try to get at me because of my dark skin that's a whole nother story. I will cut you up into pieces with my lips.
with my words, okay? So honestly, if you guys continue to talk negatively about our hair, I feel like we always have to defend our hair. Talk about why it's so beautiful. No, we shouldn't have to do that. It should just speak for itself. And honestly, I'm just so fed up and annoyed with people talking negatively about natural hair. I love these natural hair communities that we have going on today because it gives people an opportunity to love themselves, to feel more confident. But honestly, there's still those negative people out there, black, white, whatever the heck your color is, um, that still speak negatively about natural hair and have no idea what they're talking about. And it's very upsetting to see society going in this direction. Um, and I feel that people need to stop this because it leads to self-hate. It's very damaging for the kids' minds, um, for, pe for adults' minds, for people's minds in general, because a lot of people seem to nowadays not be able to think for themselves, which is unfortunate. But anyways, I could go on a rant for this for hours and hours. Unfortunately, I don't have anyone here to discuss this with me. However, I wanted to come on this channel and just bring this topic up. What the heck? is really wrong with society. Can you guys please comment below and just give me an opinion. What do you think about these people that have such ill things to say about us natural beauties? And if you are one of those people, let me know. What is it that comes across your mind that makes you feel that you need to comment and let me know my hair is ugly just because it doesn't look like yours? Boo, bye.